I was trying not to look at you because I knew I was going to make you laugh. And um, you're right there, and then he's just like that <laughs> constantly the whole time. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, remember most important things of this video, like, comment, subscribe and click the join button to get exclusive content and deals, okay? Um, I'm taking over from Sam today, uh, we've been doing the rounds, uh, a couple of us taking over, taking place while he's off ill, so wish him all the best um, in getting better um, in the comments section below. Also, what we've got lined up for you today is, due to all of the Brexit madness, we're going to go over um, what stocks everyone's getting into uh, to try and stay safe in such a turbulent time. We've got a uh, couple of trades from uh, Dale, Raj, uh, maybe a few of the others. And uh, we've got a little surprise lined up as well, so I hope you like that, okay? Hey guys, so today what we're going to do is have a look at Elliot and Sam's no deal slash soft Brexit watch list. Um, so we'll go straight in and have a look at these. Um, we'll start off with a no deal Brexit, which the likelihood of this is a lot more likely as of this morning. Um, what we've seen after Theresa May coming out yesterday and saying everything's all okay. Um, we've had some cabinet ministers resign this morning and a lot of bad press come out. So the likelihood of a no deal looks a lot more likely. Um, so we'll have a look at the stock list for the no deal Brexit. You can see that we've had a positive increase in all of the stocks in this list. Uh, if we take a closer look at one of them, as we can see, GlaxoSmithKline, um, we've got solid revenue and operating profit growth. Um, majority of brokers have this rated at a strong buy. So the reason why this stock is a good buy in the case of a no-deal Brexit is the majority of their business is done abroad. So they, they'll make their sales abroad and then when it returns home, they'll have higher profits when it's converted back into sterling. So on to soft Brexit, which is looking less and less likely as the minutes go by. Um, still not impossible. Uh, but just looking less likely. So these stocks are performing very poorly today, especially in the housing market and construction. Uh, but if we have a look at the banking sector at Lloyds Bank, um, so this is down 5% on the day. Um, we can see that still um, it's rated as a buy, but due to them doing the majority of their business on home soil um, and the fall in the pound, it's just looking a lot more gloomy for them. Um, still making profits, so might be one to look out very far in the future, but not during this Brexit negotiation. We've got pound dollar here, and you can see that the pound's in free fall, um, and this pretty much started when the First Minister resigned uh, early this morning, um, and then we've had following uh, resignations uh, beyond that, so no deal looking more likely. Not 100%, but the market is definitely pricing in that the no deal Brexit. Okay, so we've waited for a pullback on gold with everything that's going on, um, the level of uncertainty. So uh, we've got the pullback here, um, we've got a couple of pin bars on the 15 minute chart, um, close to the UK pivot for the day. Uh, it's at a resistance area, uh, support area, sorry. Uh, so we've gone in fairly tight stop and we're just looking to take this back up to the previous highs or if we get any seriously bad news then we'll look to go higher than that. So I took a trade earlier, um, it was on WTI, so I took a long position, it's actually had a massive sell off. Um, so I mean it's been selling off for around about 15 days, pretty much just had pure pure selling, you know, went from really $75 um, dollars per barrel to pretty much 54 which is a huge whack. Um, so I mean this is actually more of a technical trade, um, the fundamental, I mean there is EIA convert inventory stocks out today. I've taken it here, I've actually taken this off a day chart. So if you look off the day bar, so we had this huge massive sell off. Um, so you can just see just spiking down, and yesterday was was first day buying where it's rejecting this level here which is the 54.59 roughly level. Um, so yes, yeah, so you've had a buyer's day there, so I mean I, I pretty much put pretty much taken it off this level. So I kind of got a bit aggressive with my stop, um, but great risk to reward. Um, so you know, it's a big target, so it's, if, if inventory stocks are positive, it should look to rally, um, you know, and it's something I'll look to hold probably for a few days, and hopefully let's see it going on an uptrend. So yeah, let's see what happens today at four o'clock. Right, so it's Chaz's birthday today. Is it recording? Yeah. So it's Chaz's birthday. So she was, um, we couldn't get a gluten-free cake in today, so we got her a small chocolate pizza instead. We forgot the candle, but um, I'm sure she can add one on. 
Let's see the squad. Squad in it. Is that even? <laughs> Stay there. She's getting camera. Ready. You ready to sing, boys? I'm ready. Ready to sing. <coughs> I'm warming up, warming up my vocals. And <coughs> so hard trying to get to get the camera on, guys. Right? <laughs> she used to be. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chaz. Happy birthday to you. Right, let me take that camera one second, leave it rolling. <laughs> so, Chaz, it's your birthday today. You used to be on the other side of the camera. How does it feel having the camera in your face? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Happy really birthday, Chaz. It. Happy birthday. Do you want to share it? That's why everyone's here. Well, <laughs> right, little update on the gold trade that we took earlier. Uh, so it went up to previous highs, rejected the highs, so we took profit. It's around a, a 40 pip move. Uh, nice little intraday trade, three hours, um, nice bit of profit there. So uh, I'm sure it will continue to be fairly volatile, so we don't. I don't want to leave it overnight with everything that's going on with Brexit and the ministers. So. We'll, we'll take that and uh, I think we're done trading for the day. Cool, so just a bit of an update um, on the position I took this morning. Um, it's moved nicely, um, it's going it's going in favour um, the way you want it to go. Um, so we've got news out in just under 40 minutes, so it'll be interesting to see if it goes in favour um, or not. I mean quite often as well with inventory stocks you actually sometimes see spiking in the opposite direction and prior to it's going in your favour. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay guys, I hope you really like the content uh, during that video. Uh, we've got another webinar coming up on the 19th of November, 7.30pm. There'll be a link below. Click, sign up to that. It's about algorithms. Um, any questions that you have, save them for that. Um, other than that, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and join up uh, to be one of the members of the exclusive content. Okay, thanks guys.